And that doesn't mean running away from this stuff. The pizza isn't coming down the street. You're like, oh my gosh, the big cheese down my pizza's gonna kill me. No, no, no. I'm gonna kick your that's right. You have seen the title of this video and you're like, Simon, what the hell are you talking about? But it's true. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to pull the wool over your eyes. You ain't no sheep. <laughs> and there is a perfectly viable way for you to eat pizza and for you to lose weight. However, you also have to take a big asterisk and stamp it at the end. I think it's all based on this article, which has been doing the rounds, which says man loses weight while eating pizza for breakfast, lunch and dinner during 30 day challenge. Now, of course, this is a, I want to call it a clickbait headline. I think the term clickbait has kind of been used and abused by the internet that over the years but it's certainly a headline that wants to get you to click it because if you are trying to lose weight especially as we're just coming up the other end of january with new year's resolutions you may be like well i'd love to eat cheese on toast all the time and lose weight because i'm sick and tired of eating healthy food however like i've already said please for the love of everything go through every single word because there's always a catch the article itself too is written really weirdly because it starts off by saying if pizza is life then who boy do we have some good news for you and as we always know when you do see a pizza you want to stick it up your ass because that just means you're having a good time chewing down a slice or six may not be the worst thing for you as personal try and ryan mercer has proven mercer ate 10 slices of pizza every day for a month and somehow wound up to be even more shredded than when he began embarking on a 30-day challenge the lad from northern ireland decided to give up everything but pizza. Admittedly, he decided to ditch the fast food takeaways and make them himself in order to make a point about calorie deficits and health. Now, when it comes to Mr. Mercer himself, I applaud him for doing such things. He didn't write this article. He didn't know how it was going to be perceived. But right there, that's the big information you do need. So he gave up a lot of other fast food that he may or may not have been eaten. But also, he wasn't eating Pizza Hut. He wasn't eating Domino's. He wasn't eating Papa John's. You know, other pizzas are available. He was making himself relatively, but kind of not, but still relatively healthy pizzas. January is a tough month for people when it comes to fitness goals. I aim to highlight not only fat loss about calories in and calories out, but it's also not about restriction. He added, we don't have to restrict our favorite foods to get results, and I also wanted to encourage more people to prepare their own food. The Bangor man described his typical diet as rather flexible, with 7 to 10 portions of fruit and veg with lots of protein. Except for January, of course, during which he ate pizza for every flipping meal. I had two pizzas and one larger dose paste pizza a day. This equated to roughly 10 slices per day he explained. The hardest part of the entire diet was the preparation. Pizza is one of my all-time favorite foods, so I enjoyed eating it all month, although I did ensure I had a large variety of different pizzas to give myself some variants. Plus his bank account, ah, we don't need to talk about that. And the bloody rat fink, I told you this thing was written weirdly, managed to lose weight while living his best pizza life to the surprise of many. This was a carefully planned dietary strategy. I designed a system and this is what got me to my goal. Daily calorie intake was set at 1800 to 2100 Monday to Friday, 2700 calories Saturday and Sunday and a daily protein target of 140 grams per day, daily fruit and vegetable portion goal, seven portions minimum. So there you go. There's the secret you don't have to worry about anymore. Because this article isn't actually about eating pizza, again, as he's kind of referenced here. It's about your calorie intake and your calorie outtake, which is not a word. I just made it up. I thought it was going to sound pretty good. But for most people, if you are only eating between 1800 to 2100 calories a day, you're absolutely going to lose weight. Now, the problem with this is when we think about eating pizza, or we think about eating burgers, or we think about eating nachos, or we think about eating nice food you don't think about the portion size you just eat them like if you're going to have your cheat meal on a saturday evening you go out and whatever the restaurant serves you that's what you eat you don't have their some kind of like calorie phaser going boo, 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 trying to figure out what your calories it is although actually it will tell you in many menus these days but that's the kind of time you put it to one side and the reason you want to do this is because for the six and a half other days you can eat healthy or what we believe to be healthy you can eat your salad you can eat your chicken and rice or whatever the hell it may be although of course you can be more varied with your diet too but ultimately Ultimately, this is not going to be sustainable for a long ass time because one, you're probably going to get bored of pizza, but also two, it comes down to your choices. If you're trying to be as powerful and maximize your results in the gym as much as possible, I don't think eating a bunch of cheese on toast is actually going to be that beneficial for you, even if you are getting all your proteins in, because there's a better source of carbohydrates you can can, there's a better source of fat that you can have, and there's just better calories out there that is going to serve it better. And I know I always make videos like this, but as long as these articles keep coming, I'm going to keep poo-pooing them, because that's the whole point here. We're not trying to avoid nice food, we're not trying to ignore nice food, we're just trying to come up with a consistent way to live a health and fitness lifestyle that we can do until the day that we die. And that doesn't mean running away from this stuff. The pizza isn't coming down the street and you're like, oh my gosh, the big cheese down my pizza's gonna kill me. No, no, no. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass. You don't like to, to look at food like it's a hero and it's a villain or it's a good guy and a bad guy. Just eat it when you think is appropriate. But for most of your life, pick the healthy choice because not only are you gonna look better, not only are you gonna feel better, but once again, if you are going for that aesthetic bodybuilding, weightlifting, training look, then that is the way to do it. And if you are struggling with it, it doesn't mean you turn to stuff like pizza 
and go, right, how can I figure this conundrum out? You ain't playing a Professor Layton game. Isn't it obvious? What you do is you figure out other healthy foods that you enjoy just as much. For example, bread is not the demon that it's made out for be. You can get protein cheese. So maybe one of your meals could be a protein cheese sandwich. A couple of slices of white bread ain't going to kill you. Or you could do it in a wrap or you can even have a bagel. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? A bagel? Yes. And you can put that protein cheese. I think it's called Eat Lean over here, but there'll be other choices as well. You can put that onto said bagel. You can put it in the oven. You can put it in the grill. It's going to come out. It's going to look all pizzery. And if you want to put some tomatoes on there once more, unless you're training for a bodybuilding competition and you need to be 4% body fat, eat the flipping tomato. Yes, it's got sugar in it, but you're not going to die. Mercer also did add that everyone is different and the diet should only be used if it suits a person's needs. Exactly. So once again, that's just why I wanted to put it in there because so many people right now are Googling and SEO and in searching for things like, can I eat pizza to lose weight? Can I eat cheese to lose weight? Can I eat bread to lose weight? And the answer is all yes. For example, if you're doing 1500 calories of cardio a day, which I highly doubt, by the way, I was talking to somebody the other day that thought because they were doing 45 minutes on a treadmill every morning, that they're burning over a thousand calories. I promise you, you're not no matter what you're doing. But if you are burning 1500 calories and you're only eating a thousand calories of pizza, there's a 500 calorie deficit there. So it's going to go in the opposite direction. But as far as I'm concerned, you're just doing a bunch of mental gymnastics that you don't need to do. You're allowed to have pizza and you can have a big old pizza. You can have extra large pizza for pizza cut with a stuffed crust should you so want, but it has to be in moderation and it has to be in balance with your other diet. And if you do feel you're going through Monday to Friday trying to eat the healthy food and it's ruining your life, then your diet is wrong. It doesn't mean all of a sudden you have to go to the other extreme. It means you sit down with it, you go to a PT, you watch videos like this and you try and figure out well, what can I add in and what can I do in order to make it better. Like I already know in the comments right now, some people go, Simon, I can't believe you said you can eat bread. I have a bagel every single damn day. That's not true. I have it a few times a week. But the point is, you are able to do it because I make sure that I balance and I make sure I manage my calories in other areas of my life. When I eat that bagel with a little bit of peanut butter on, oh my gosh, peanut butter, I feel pretty warm and fuzzy in my tum tum. And it just motivates me to carry on because I'm enjoying my diet and I'm enjoying my lifestyle. Of course, it's always going to be hard. There's always going to be some determination and discipline you have to put into this. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But that's why you have to make sure you get your positive juices from other areas in your life your life. Do not get bogged down with this stuff. If you're sitting around all day going thinking about food, thinking about food, thinking about food, thinking about food, all you're going to do is think about food and you're going to put it on a pedestal. You don't need to do that. It's just sustenance. It's just fuel. It's just calories. Of course, you want to eat nice things because once again, quite literally repeating myself, it makes you feel all warm and fuzzy in your tum tum. But do not use articles like this to all of a sudden throw the baby out with the bathwater and decide, you know what? Now I'm just going to eat pizza because it ain't going to work. And I shall leave you there after my big rant and I shall keep ranting until the day that I die, as I do say. And if you would like to support the channel, you can do that by going to gorillamind.com for slash Simon. If you just go to Simon, you get 10% off. All the links for everything I'm about to talk about is in the description down there. I like these supplements. You can call me a liar. You can call me a shill. That's fine. But I genuinely do. And I use a good few of them. A good five or six that are in my daily routine. I'm actually a bit scared when I do run out because I enjoy them so much. Valentine's Day is coming up. If you want a cameo from me, you can. Just search for Simon Miller on Cameo. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. Please do it because when the numbers go up, it fuels my ego. Go to prowrestlingtees.com forward slash Simon. Simon Miller or use the Samson Athletics uh, link in the description below to get my fitness and wrestling tees. A brand new wrestling tee just went up and we got a few of those as well as my fitness tees. And patreon.com for us Simon 316 to support me with money. If you haven't subscribed, I'd appreciate a subscription as well because again, that's the YouTube battle. There's also a video on the screen. Can't remember if I mentioned that, but do it now. Just click it. Then you can go and eat your healthy pizza as long as that video plays. Goodbye.